by the way. Christmas tree, courtesy of my teenage son. First time he's done it by himself. Dialing in live from Split Croatia, where we are spending our Christmas. Hey, Web3 World, this is Nacha Besta, co-founder of Engage to Earn Investing Platform at Luna. Now, if this line sounds familiar, maybe not the Christmas bit, it might be because you are familiar with the weekly show I host, the Future of NFTs. You might also know me through my work as an entrepreneur, startup mentor, advisor, speaker, writer, investor, uh, former journalist working in blockchain and Web3 since all the way back in 2017. Or because you just plain know me, in which case, hey, today I will be announcing a fun little project that I'm going to be working on in 2023, drum roll, the first live Web3 book experiment in history history, if my voice cracked. I challenge myself to keep this video shorter than five minutes, commentary and all. So short version, I will be live testing 12 new Web3 tech applications in 12 months and documenting the results, which will become the book known as Web3 Explained uh, about the future of Web3 technologies. Now, five minutes is not a lot of time, so I'm going to skip the basics of what Web3 actually is. Uh, if you don't get it, and don't worry, most people don't, imagine having to explain or even understand the internet back in the 1990s. I would like to show you in real time, so come follow along. And if you are already in the Web3 space, then I invite you to explore with me where we are going, both in the long term as well as the immediate future. Because as you are so painfully aware, 2022 was an icy crypto winter and the bear market has been in deep hibernation. But as things start shifting again in 2023, Web3 Explained is going to live track the changing market by participating in it in real time to understand what is next for us as an industry and society. But why do this at all? For me, it's all about learning by doing, writing by creating, and for you, understanding and shaping by joining. Because writing a book, let's be honest, is a lonely process that involves a lot of sitting down and doing endless research. Now, the nerd in me loves the research part, but the post-COVID me has had enough of social isolation. Not to mention that the research is in its absolute infancy, and there are so many use cases that people simply haven't thought of yet. So why rely on hypothetical knowledge, whether it's my own or others, when I can actually just create the use case, case studies myself uh, by conducting primary research with a community of real life humans? And I also want to test whether Web3 tech can onboard non-tech users, especially during a bear market, because when mass adoption has become the new when Lambo or when Moon. Now, how it's going to work, uh, each month, starting in January, I will test a new use case, a daily vlog, shorter than five minutes, will keep you updated on how things are going. I, accountability here, I'm going to blog weekly to recap progress, and most importantly, I will be speaking to a variety of industry thought leaders through the podcast and the YouTube channel. So you can learn right along with me from people much smarter than I. Now, I want to note that this is an experiment and I have deliberately very few expectations. Uh, however it goes will be the experiment and the experience. I'm actually quite excited to fail because I speak to new projects every single day and I want to highlight the struggles of building in this market and demonstrate A, how easy it is to start a project but also B, how difficult to get traction. And finally, since we are up close and personal, uh, here's my motivation. I want to build with the garage door open and share what I learned along the way. As an author, unless someone actually reads your book, the knowledge you gain can't really be passed on. So I am inviting you to help me write about the future of technology by creating it with me, my time is running out. I'll quote singer, songwriter, musician, performance artist. She's an amazing bunch of things. Amanda Palmer. This is how a creative human being works. Collecting, connecting, sharing.